Welcome back to Leaders of Tomorrow. On a chemicals and petrochemicals special, this next story is of a company that's helping save the environment and also human lives. Its product range includes environmental and pollution control gases and medical application gases among others. Take a look. India's rapid and continuous industrialization puts its environment in grave danger. Its industrial gas emissions play a huge role in causing pollution. One enterprise that enables companies to keep their gas emissions in check is Mumbai-based Chemtron Science Laboratory. Chemtron has created gas standards for clients in the petrochemical, power, cement and steel industries amongst others since 1992. I have earned money in my stock exchange. Uh, I have operated for 5-10 years. And I tell uh, you a good lot of money to invest in the industry. Through its plants in the industrial areas of Navi Mumbai and Kopoli, Chemtron manufactures pure as well as multi-component gases through processes like gas conditioning and filling. The gases manufactured are analyzed by qualified staff in the company's state-of-the-art laboratory and component reports are then shared with clients. And in fact, the company prides itself on meeting its customers' needs through quick delivery. We take out the samples. Uh, this, then samples will be injected into the gas chromatograph, and then that that will uh, that will be analyzed for each component. So we check accordingly that uh, uh, the customer has given us specification. The, 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 we can say the concentration of the each component. So we analyze for each component and we get the report. Ashish Srivastav is a second generation entrepreneur responsible for the backward integration of Chemtron into engineering and electronic products. His need to continuously innovate has led the company to begin manufacturing gas handling equipment in addition to manufacturing specialty, medical and industrial gases. As far as the company is concerned, we have three broad verticals. Uh, the gases is the oldest one. Engineering is just a backward integration of what uh, we started doing. I mean, we, we started selling gases, so gases also required a lot of gas handling equipments and all that. So we started ma manufacturing that uh, ourselves, and now it's become a vertical in itself. Uh, and of course, electronics uh, is what we develop. We make very custom, custom-based solutions to a lot of companies, a lot of agricultural companies, a lot of cold chain companies. What's the unique selling point of the company? We are a make-to-order company. Uh, so, for example, if you are a client and you want a specific gas blend, so uh, these guys they approach us. Uh, because of our, you know, a quick service and, 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 and since an indigenous company, so our delivery times are also a lot quicker. So, uh, if you talk about the uh, transactions that we do, we have close to around 10,000 invoices in a year. How tough is competition in this space? Uh, the competition is from big players. Uh, we are one of the smallest uh, the companies who are in this space. Uh, but because of a continuous innovation in terms of backward integration and uh, everything, we are trying to catch up. Uh, we are going at a very high, uh, very fast pace in terms of uh, growth year on year. We are adding a lot of products. I mean, we are only serving to petrochemical refining and all that. Now we have catered into uh, a lot of other stuff. So competition as such, we don't find any competition to us because uh, there is a gas company and there is an engineering company. There is no company which is together. And even if they are together, they are probably outsourcing their engineering uh, aspects to other companies. So that way we... We, we, give a, we, we give a composite solution to the clients. Tell us a little bit about the infrastructure that you have. We are putting a lot of money uh, into infrastructure. Uh, when I say infrastructure, it's talking about uh, IT infrastructure. We implemented SAP uh, when our turnover is about 7 to 8 crores. We have expanded into one new facility in Kapoli where uh, we are making the facility 10 times bigger than what we have in our earlier setup. So infrastructure-wise, all the investments and everything is ready. It's just now that we are trying to double our turnover because we have everything in place. Ashi aims to almost double his company's turnover from 14 crore rupees to 26 crore rupees by the end of the year. With Chemtron's significant investments in technology, research and development and human resources and continuous diversification into newer verticals like agriculture, this innovative company is sure to meet its goals. Chemtron, my advice to you would be on two counts. One, try to prune your number of products and markets that you are pursuing. For your size, I think you might be over diversified. So pick some high growth markets. And two, in terms of your IPO ambition, please make sure that you hit at least 250 crores in revenue. 
because at that size you will be able to attract good quality institutional investors.